In this video, we'll show you how to install the interior components of your Harrisol Vios 160i CO2 incubator. Let's get started by locating a few essential parts. The pre-filter can be found on the front section of the water reservoir cover. It consists of a dual layer wire mesh with a silicone frame and is autoclavable as well as heat resistant. The pre-filter must remain installed in the device during the Steri Run sterilization routine, but needs to be removed when refilling the water reservoir. The access port with insert can be sealed with a plug and allows feeding cables, tubes, or additional sensors to be added to the workspace of the unit. To get started, suspend the max fill level indicator in the water reservoir cover panel slot. Next, insert the pre-filter into the water reservoir cover panel. Follow these steps to install the air duct. First, join the top part of the air duct with the rear part and make sure in step C that the positioning tab at the rear part clicks into place in the rectangular hole of the bottom part. Finally, lock the lateral keyholes of the top part into the retaining screws in the workspace ceiling. The HEPA filter and water reservoir cover panel must be inserted into the air box from below. To assemble the HEPA filter and air box, start by placing the HEPA filter on a flat surface. Next, tilt the air box to the left and insert the tabs on the left into the corresponding slots provided in the HEPA filter. Then, insert the tabs on the right side of the air box into the HEPA filter catches. Place the seal into the groove provided at the air box tubing and press it down evenly. Then, place the air box onto its seat on the water reservoir cover panel. Finally, lift the water reservoir cover at the front side and push it towards the rear wall. Doing so lets the cover panel slide into its final position in the reservoir and the tube end of the air box into the fan outlet. The support rails are guided and held in place by the embossings. The lock springs of the support rails must point upwards. To get started, position the support rail onto the lower embossing and tilt it toward the workspace sidewall so that the rail is positioned over the two embossings. Then, clamp the lock spring behind the upper embossing. To remove the support rails, pull the lock spring tab out of the embossing and remove the rail. Start by inserting the shelf supports into the perforations of the support rail with the bar facing down. Then, make sure that the two vertical elements of the shelf support are flush with the support rail. To install the shelves, slide the shelf tilt with the protection device onto the shelf support. The tilt protection is also used as a guide for the shelf. Then, slightly raise the shelf so that the withdrawal stop can be routed over the shelf supports. Finally, make sure that the shelf support is positioned in the two tilt protections in a way that allows it to move freely. Thanks for watching! Visit thermofisher.com forward slash CO2 to learn more.